Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh I'm going to show you uh, how you connect this box to the home Wi-Fi uh, when you undo the box inside the box you'll get this main media player which is this is what you really want and that's media player is the one that's going to give you the azan and everything okay so you get the box I'll remove this box for the time being and inside the box you'll get a remote you get a remote you will get um, uh, Ethernet cable. See, that's got a two RG45 connection on each end. Okay. You also get a power plug. There's a pin coming out of that. Uh, I'm not going to open that. Uh, and then you got the uh, HDMI cable. Each end, you got a male HDMI connection. Okay. So, in order for you to do this only once uh, in each home, um, I should demonstrate. But if you want to simply uh, connect the power lead and connect this lead at the back here, there's a connection there, this one there, you connect this one lead on there, okay, and the other end to the router, to the router, you don't have to put a password in. You don't have to do nothing, it just works. So simply you connect this. In there, one lead here for the Ethernet cable, and the other end goes to uh, uh, your router, and this will simply work. That's it. You don't have to do nothing. It just works. It will connect to your masjid automatically, and whenever the masjid releases the broadcast, it will work. Okay, but if the router is far away, you want to connect this by Wi-Fi. For you to connect to Wi-Fi, I'll show you and watch carefully. Okay, it's not that difficult once you do it a couple of times, you know how to do it. So, what do you do? You connect the HDMI cable to your screen. So, you have the screen in your case will be the home TV. Okay, on home TV, you can select which port of the HDMI you want one, two, or three. Some most TV got two HDMI ports. One HDMI port on a, on a, on a, like a flat screen TV is always connected to the TV channels. Um, your Sky Sport or whatever you, you watch, okay? And there's all the spare uh, uh, port on the back of the TV. So you connect one end of this to the back of this here. This is just for the purpose of setting it up. And the other end, now I've got a screen already set up there, which I'll show you, okay? So just to demonstrate how things work. And then you connect this power supply to here, okay? Right there. And then... You uh, simply watch the screen. So I've just turned the camera up here. So now the screen is on. Okay. So this will you start getting this sort of thing once you connect the box. So this box is connected. Okay. And you, you get this when you connect the HDMI port. And then it is slowly will just go to a, a page. Now you'll go to that page there. Okay. That's the page you get there. Once you get to that page on your TV, what you do is that you get your remote. I'll show you the remote, the remote that I've been showing it to you. That remote, on the, in the box, you also get a couple of batteries. I put the two batteries in there, put the cover in there, okay? And then what you do, also this, this remote control also got a volume control, okay? So you can control the volume on it, okay? So you up and down. You control the volume. So that, that's when it's all done. Anyway, you would need to set up a Wi-Fi. On there, see, on that middle, you'll see a little bar there. It says set up Wi-Fi. So for you to be able to do that, use a remote control. On the remote control, you use press this arrow and then immediately press OK. And you get the arrow appearing, you see? And then you get this little screen on the side of that. You then toggle these, these arrows, these four arrows, and then you take the arrow onto the name of your, your home Wi-Fi. In my case, my home Wi-Fi name is Gulam Ahmed 01. I then say OK. OK. And then immediately goes to a screen which gives you um, a keyboard. Now, you need to use that keyboard to put your password in here. There. You've got to put that in there. All right. Now, this dot is there this dot is the one that you got to move around the keyboard but this dot doesn't move initially 
for you to start making a movie, again you press this arrow and then OK. And that T appears here, T, and then this is now active. Only then you then move the toggle the, 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 this bit here, toggle it around here and take it to, and then say OK. That makes the T disappear. Now you use the keyboard, right? Use the keyboard to put your password in there. Now I'm not going to put my password in there. It takes too long, and this video will become too long. Once you've got the password all sorted, you press again, toggle this, and take to the next. See that next there? Here, next. And you OK that. And when you OK that, this will change to connect this successfully. And when that connect is successfully is done, I'm not going to wait for that. All you do is all done and dusted. You simply take, um, you go back to here. You simply take the power connector out, and it's all done, finished. Take the HDMI port out, right? You must take the power out to reboot it. See? And then you simply connect it here, and it will be connected to your home Wi Fi. And whenever the masjid works, it will work. All this HDMI port, all the cable, all the cables, and you just need the power supply which I've got connected. You do none of that now, and you simply need the remote in order to connect, uh, in order to put the sound up and down. That's it. It's all done. Okay. I'm also going to send you by WhatsApp a written information as to how it's done. Zakallah.